This is Abby, Elsie Bates, educator, and welcome to Nature Nuggets. Today we are going to be talking about hummingbird feeders. So hummingbirds are starting to come back, um, and it's really awesome to put a feeder in your yard, but there's definitely some things that you shouldn't do with it. Um, and while you're making sugar water. So today we're gonna talk about how to correctly make sugar water and how to correctly care for and hang your feeder. So first things first, how to make sugar water. You're going to need something to mix it in. A spoon, measuring cup, um, sugar. Now this is really important, only use sugar. Okay, no Splenda, no powdered sugar, just the regular stuff that you make Kool-Aid with. Okay, this is really important um, because other things can be toxic to hummingbirds. It can make them sick. So sugar is really the only safe thing to use in your hummingbird feeder. Now the next thing is you want to mix your sugar and your water. So um, correct measurements for hummingbird sugar water is one cup sugar to four parts water. So I have a one cup measuring cup. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out one cup of sugar and then I already have pre-measured four cups of water in here. Now. The water, you want to warm it up a little bit, that way uh, the sugar dissolves easier, but you don't want it to be super hot. So what I do is I heat mine up on the stove um, and I let it get right kind of to boiling, it gets more, more simmering, uh, or just underneath that, and then I let it sit and cool for a little bit. So that's what I've done with this. So, let me get... One cup sugar. Okay. And if it's not as exact, that's okay. I'll add that. And then I'll move this so you can see the picture better. So one cup sugar, and then here goes four cups still warm water to mix that with. So, and then I'm going to take my spoon and I'm going to mix it just like I'm making Kool-Aid and let it all dissolve. Okay, just going to check the bottom. Yeah, make sure I got it. And that should be good. So let me put that to the side. And let's talk about the feeder for just a second. So really, any feeder is good. Um, this is just the one that I picked up at the Amish store the other day. It was like, it's a really fancy looking feeder, but it was the cheapest one. It was on sale. So you don't need a fancy feeder. Um, most feeders, what they do is they, the part where that holds the sugar water screws off from the bottom. So sugar water will go from here into this disc and then hummingbirds will find these little holes like they're like, like they're drinking nectar from a flower. So it's really important to keep your hummingbird feeder clean. Um, the sugar can cr cause mold to grow and the mold can make hummingbirds sick. So this is a new feeder. I rinsed it off See, there's water. I rinsed it off um, before I got ready to uh, show you guys how to do this. Um, you need to make sure that you clean your feeders uh, probably at least, you know, once a week. Um, one way is you can just boil it and not boil it, but put place it in warm water. Um, some people use warm soapy water. If you use anything like soap or vinegar to clean your feeder, it's really important that you make sure um, that it's washed out really, really well. Because once again, the, the soap, uh, one, it tastes bad for the hummingbirds, and two, it can make them sick. So I wanted to show you guys before I put it back together. These little holes that the hummingbirds drink through, these can get a lot of mold in them. So it's really important to have a, um, they sell tiny little uh, hummingbird feeder brushes that can get up in there, but you can also use like a pipe cleaner or something just to make sure that the holes are clean too. So I'm gonna place that back on. So now that we've talked about that, let me put this back up. So 
Put my sugar, put my spoon. I'm just going to pour the sugar water in here and I'm not going to fill it up all the way. And the reason for that is that you need to change your sugar water every few days. Um, even if you haven't really been seeing hummingbirds on there or it looks like it's almost still completely full, you need to change it out because it will start to grow mold. So on you know a hot day or during hot weather, um, you might need to change it like every other day. But if the weather is more mild, you can go you know three to four days, sometimes even a week if it's cooler. So I'm just going to put not too much, not even halfway. I'm just going to put just about a third in there right now. Um, and that's because I have, this is my first time putting out a feeder in my yard, so it'll take a little while for hummingbirds to find it. So now that I've got that, the bottom goes on, and it screws on, like so. Okay. Now, there it goes. The other really important thing that we need to talk about is the color red. So hummingbirds are attracted to red. Uh, they like red flowers. So that's why a lot of times, or really pretty much all the time, you'll see um, that the hummingbird feeders have red on them. Now this, this one, the glass itself is red, but it doesn't need to be. Um, sometimes it's the bottom's red and that's good enough. Some people add red dye to their sugar water, and that's a big no-no. Um, you don't need the red dye to attract the hummingbirds, and the red dye can also make them sick. Um, it can be toxic for them. So no dye, just the red on the feeder is good enough. Okay, so the only thing that should be going into your feeder is sugar and water, and that's it, really simple. Now, um, the water was still a little bit warm, so I'm going to wait and let this cool off a little bit before I put it outside. And when I do go to place it, I'm going to put it um, in a shady spot. So a lot of times people put out their hummingbird feeders, you know, kind of in the middle of um, out in the open. And uh, that causes more sunlight to hit it, which causes the mold to, go, to grow quicker. So it's better to put it somewhere shady. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, so that's it. All right, so takeaways, no red dye, uh, keep your hummingbird feeder clean, and only use sugar. Those are the most important things. All right, you'll have a good day. Bye. Oh, real quick, the remaining sugar water will be good for a couple weeks, so you can put it in the fridge. Uh, I'm just gonna close it for right now. If I had a big pitcher, I could just put it in the fridge as is, but since it's just a little bit, uh, I'll probably go ahead and pour this into a Gatorade bottle or water bottle or something where I can seal the cap. So you can make a big batch and then just keep it in your fridge and use it throughout the week. All right, so now goodbye. Have a good day.